Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to build a half 13 T-slot nut, and it's going to be awesome. We're going to make it out of a solid, and we're going to put really wicked uh, threads in there. So first thing I want you to do, go to rectangle, hit the drop down, go to polygon, click the center, click again. Okay, now the radius, we're going to want half of three quarters of an inch, so 375. That's what we're going to want that. That's all we're going to do. Green check. Boom. Now, we're going to get rid of them crosshairs. We don't need that anymore. We already know we're on the center. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our circle and put our minor diameter in there. 421. Right? Now what we want to do is we're going to make this a solid. We'll go to solids. Go to extrude. Bam, bam. It's going to extrude that up. 375 is what we want it to be. That's how thick we're going to make it. Green check. I had Alt S selected. Don't you don't want to have that? So that's what we just made. Boom, right here. All right. <coughs> now what we want to do is we're going to go back in here to wireframe, and we're going to make a point. We're going to grab that point, go all the way to the bottom. We're going to put that point on the bottom. See that? It's on the bottom. F9 on the bottom. I'll just keep that on for. Nah, whatever. All right, now we're going to translate that point 50 thou in the Z down. Minus 0. 0.05. Bam. And we're going to move it. Green check. Now what we're going to do, go back into your wireframe. Go back to that drop down. Click helix. Grab that point. All right. That radius, we're going to want that radius 500 thou in our... 500 thou diameter divided by 2, which is your radius. Okay, we're going to have the height on that radius. I'm going to hit Alt S again so we can see what we got going on. Now we can see that being created in here. Okay, revolutions. The pitch is going to be 13, half 13, 1 divided by 13. All right, and now we're going to go to the height. It needs to be 450 thou. That's 375 minus 50. Plus a little bit extra. All right, so there we got all that. Let's just hit that uh, green check button right here. Now you need to find the line, the end point that's touching a corner or the midpoint of a corner. See how this one kind of trails off into nowhere? If you look at this end point of this line, kind of doesn't. It trails off into nowhere. So you want this line that's per perpendicular to a angle. What we're going to do is we're going to grab this. All right. We're going to put that on the end of that helix. And then we want this facing us like that. So we're going to put that Z towards us. Z towards us. And the Y up top. All right. And you can call this plane whatever you like, but for my purposes, I'm just going to keep cruising. Now what you need to do, you got all this. Now what you need to do is you need to go to this website called theoreticalmachinist.com. Type in the size of thread you want, and what you're going to need is the root flat of that thread. Root flat. Come up in here, root flat. Looks like it's in between 14 thou and 9 thou. Let's call it 12 thou. 12 thou root flat. So we're going to our line. Midpoint. 12 thou. Whoops. Okay. Enter. That does that. <laughs> Let's just do it this way. 12 thou. There's your 12 thou. Okay, that's your flat that you need to be. All right, now we're going to make a line. We're going to go two endpoints. That line we're just going to have go down here. And we're just going to quickly modify the length of that by, you know, uh, 0.05, 50 thou. All right. Now what we want to do is we're going to transform, rotate. And when you get this down, man, I mean, it goes really quick. Rotation center point right there. Okay, and we want that 60. Or no, 30. Oh, I went the wrong way. Negative 30 which is half of 60. 60 degrees is your angle, okay? That's your angle of dang every thread, okay? And we're going to move that. Now we're going to grab this guy. 
We're going to mirror it. And the Y. And the Y is going to be right there. I'm going to go ahead and join that. Why not just join it? Sure. Now I went into wireframe. We're going to trim this stuff. Divide. I always forget divide. I always forget the divide. Okay, so that's what the cutout's going to be. Whoops. That's what the cutout's going to be, just like that. Okay, so after we draw this circle, we don't want this overlapping into here. We'll come into here. To the, we're just going to trim this up. Okay, turn it back to 3D quick. Now, we are going to go to surfaces. No, solids. Sweep. This guy. And this guy. Alright, see how I did that? I'm going to cut the body. I'm going to green check. Now we hit Alt S. Look at that. Look at that. We got that guy on there. Them are professional threads. That's how you do all that. 